All right, what's up, everyone? We're back. Uh, we're at it again with Awesome Not. This is part two on our road to um, League One in this game. If you haven't seen the first episode, I highly suggest that you watch that one because in that episode, I kind of explain what this game is all about, the mechanics, uh, and like the overall gist of this game, and while I'm doing and why I'm doing uh, this playthrough series. Uh, and all in all, to give you a general means of what this series is going to be about it's basically as of right now we are in league six i've been doing a little bit of grinding um and i went from league eight which i was in the last game now we're in league six league six is still pretty not that great but it is a little bit more a uh, little bit harder than league uh, eight so the goal is to get all the way up to league one which is the top 250 league one is similar to grandmaster or top 500 in overwatch and uh and stuff like that uh so that that'll be the primary goal for this game here uh, for this playthrough i mean um and the enemy also not that we're probably going to be focusing the most on in this episode is going to be raylan uh you'll probably see raylan a lot in our playthrough uh, i like this character she has a cool sniping ability where you can snipe a character from far away um and she also has a time rift and her time rift basically is a little cube that you throw out and then it extends into like this um gosh it's hard to explain so it's almost like a it's like a rectangular holographic thing and if an enemy tries to go past it they are slowed down so it makes them super duper slow and it also deals a bunch of damage to them um so that'll be the gist for uh this awesome nuts episode um we have to wait about six minutes before we jump into the next match so as soon as the six minutes are up i will be right back with you guys all right we just jumped into our match uh Again, we're playing Raylan. This is the knot that we're going to be playing for this episode. Uh, we also have a potential Rocco and an Ayla on our team. Um, so that would be... Uh, eh. I mean, that could work out pretty well. We have a lot of range between me and Rocco. Um, Ayla's a little questionable, though. Because, I mean, this is League 6, so we should be fine. But Ayla's no longer like a top-tier character. She's really situational. Uh, I hope this guy, if he decides to play Ayla, that he knows what he's doing so he doesn't hold us back. Um, but yeah, we'll be jumping into a match in about 20 seconds. Alright, we're in the match. We are going up against a Gnaw, a Froggy G, and a Swiggins. We're definitely going to have to be careful against this matchup. Swiggins and Froggy G are going to be the bane of our existence. Not so much Gnaw though, as long as we can stay far away from Gnaw and just deal our damage uh, far away so he can't deal any damage over time to us, we should be fine. As long as we play our cards correctly, we will not have any problem against Gnaw. But it's more Swiggins and Froggy G that I'm worried about. So I think with this build, we're going to go ahead and start off with the piercing shots. Uh, Raylan is mainly good at clearing, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on, especially since she's so weak in the beginning of the game, or early game rather. Uh, so yeah. Let's go ahead and try and scope out our enemies and see just how good they are and how they respond uh, to certain things. Alright, we just got a snipe there. That's her snipe ability. Oof. Yeah. See, that's what I'm scared about. So you see Swiggins, he just uh, latched himself onto me. That's what I'm, uh, hold on. And we killed him. All right, so the enemies don't seem uh, too good. Honestly, he should have definitely been able to kill me there if he knew what he was doing. Uh, but he seemed a little, uh, I guess, new to the character, uh, which is to be expected down here in this league. Um, but yeah. Oh, so that's the time rift, by the way. See how it slows them and deals damage? It's a really, really strong ability. Let's back up. Don't want to get caught by Swiggins. Uh, we don't have any creeps to farm. Alright, that's fine. Okay, that ain't good. And I think we are as good as... Nope. We survived. Wow. How lucky. We definitely should have died there. Let's see if we can pick off Frog when he comes down. Oh, we missed our snipe. That is really bad. 
If we hadn't missed that, we probably would have been able to kill him, but we missed out on a kill there. Oh crap, okay. <laughs> Thank god he missed his anchor. Man, we should have died twice. Um, yeah, he's definitely new to Swiggins because he cannot aim for his life, but that's good for us. So the next upgrade that we're going to get is a HC bomb. It just makes that uh, when we put out a time rift, our next shot, our AA or auto attack, uh, will deal 200% more damage. Um, so it's like a charge up kind of thing. So we're just going to go ahead and do some pushing right here. And we killed Swiggins. Thank god he jumped right into our trap with the time rift. Uh, so that's pretty useful tactic. Um, if you're getting to know or wanting to learn Raylan, uh, put a time rift in front of you if you're going to be pushing a turret or somewhere near you or wherever you think the enemy is going to be uh, trying to stop you from. Because more times than not, they'll just fall right into that time rift and then you can just uh, pick them off or get away safely, depending on the situation and their health. I gotta get better at sniping, man. That was such a clear shot and I missed it. I don't know what our Ayla is doing, but she literally ran into the enemy and died. <laughs> um, crap. And our Rocco is dead. So they're now starting to work together. Uh, that's a little scary. Swiggins and Gnaw is are pretty formidable together. Yep. That's that timer. It's pretty useful. Gotta snipe those to be able to do some more damage, but we can't really be too aggro against them. They do have a good uh, composition going on. Uh, they picked off our team again. That's the only thing with uh, playing down here in these leagues. You don't really get good teammates. You don't get good enemies, and you don't get good teammates, so... We got a frog looking to try and do some stuff here. Sniped him. Nice. We gotta be careful though. Yep, they jumped up. They fell for it. And now we can... Oh, no! Oh, nice. He tracked me down and killed me. I was hoping that since they went up top that I could just safely go home, but... He probably figured out what I was doing. So maybe he's not as bad as we thought <laughs> that he was. Maybe he just had some difficulty with his mouse or whatever. Um, but when you die, you will be spawned in a drop pod. And just like in the beginning of the match, you can collect some solar on the way down to kind of make up for the 30 solar that you lost uh, when you died. Uh, so our next upgrade, I think the best thing for us is to get that and boots. Um, so we just got a bunch of more damage on our AA or auto attack. And uh, we also got the ability to run a lot faster. I don't know what this Froggy G is doing, but if we can get him low enough, we can do that and pick him off. Easy kills, easy kills. Oh man, I was really hoping to line up that shot, but I just didn't have that ability. I think our sensitivity is a little bit low. Let's turn that up a little bit. And yeah, this is a lot better. All right, let's get back out there. Because uh, the way things are looking now, if our allies keep dying like that, we are going to lose this game. We got to try and uh, stop them from dying the best we can. Come on. Don't die. All right, good. Holy crap. Nope, we're not falling for it. We are not gonna die again. We cannot afford to. If we die again, we for sure will probably lose this match. Uh, that's one thing about this game. Uh, dying a lot early game, like my teammates are doing, really sets up the game, uh, sets up the chances for you to lose. Uh, it's really hard to come back in this game because this game snowballs so easily. So we have to be on our A game the entire time. Can't afford to slack off. Ah, crap. Ah, 
Okay, we don't deal nearly enough damage to the uh, enemy. Let's go ahead and get some damage on our snipe and see if that'll help a little bit. Got him. <laughs> oh man, we missed again. I gotta get better at aiming the snipe. Let's go ahead back to the base and heal. Uh, we are still... Uh, we're not even ahead because they have more XP than us. Our, enemy, our teammates keep dying. They aren't that good. And we have a bot on our team now. Wow. Okay. Uh, we are definitely looking... Things are looking for us to lose this match, unfortunately. I just don't see a way of us coming back, but we have to try. Win or lose, we have to do our best. Got him. <laughs> I feel like we can finally land our snipes now. Got him. Let's see if we can get Gnaw as well. Okay, we have to go away because we will die. He had those weedlings there. If those weedlings hadn't been there, we probably would have picked him up too. But not to worry, we got some solar. We can go get some upgrades. Our next upgrade we're probably going to go with is... Let's do... Honestly, let's just go straight damage on our AA. Because we do a lot of up-close and personal fighting. And Raylan isn't too good at it, but her AA is really strong. Should also consider getting uh, some regen with gnaw and everything. We'll definitely need it. Nope, not gonna let you heal either. Crap, he just made it out of there. Barely. Lucky bastard. Oh crap. Yeah, we don't want to stick around because Swiggins can come. I was hoping to bounce on that bounce pad and snipe him, but we didn't bounce unfortunately. Uh, we probably should head back and get some regen, but uh, we can probably get away with staying out in the battlefield a little bit longer. Uh, so, so far we are in the lead now, thanks to those uh, couple of kills we were able to pick up. We have Swiggins on our Heine here. Gotta try and... Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, no, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Wait! We're alive. Wow, I can't believe we survived that. I totally thought we were gonna die because we were really low there. Got him. <laughs> That's what you get for chasing me. Okay, let's... Nah. He's dead. We should definitely head back. Wait. Gotta try and help out our teammate. Now let's back up. Swiggins is gonna kill us if we try and push too hard. Alright, so what we're gonna do is get the rest of our damage. Let's go ahead and pick up regen and some health. That'll help us stay on the battlefield a little bit longer and uh, make us a little bit tankier. Got him. <laughs> Thought you could get away, but you can't. Feeling pretty good about myself. Doing a lot better than I thought we would, and now we're consistently landing our snipes. So like I said, I thought uh, it's probably we were missing so many in the beginning because our sensitivity on our mouse was low, but increasing that definitely helped. Easy kills. So far we got 10 kills and only one death. So we're shaping up pretty good, but then again we are going against some pretty low tier enemies.
I'm pushing on this turret right here. And Swiggins left. Wow. I guess he rage quit. Got the gnaw. <laughs> nice. We're landing all of our snipes now. It's fantastic. Alright, so I thought we were totally going to lose this game because our teammates were dying. But as soon as our Rocco left, we got a pretty good bot. And uh, that combined with our good damage upgrades, we were able to pull off some pretty nice kills. So all we have to do here now is just destroy their base. And that'll be GG. Oh, we got... Wait, is that Swiggins? No, it's a bot. Okay. It's still Swiggins, but... Um, it's a Swiggins bot, so we don't have to worry as much. Got him. Nice. Now we're going to go ahead and finish up this base, and we won. Pretty much single-handedly single -handedly carried the team. But uh, nonetheless, GG. Nice. We got our killing spree song now. So when we get three kills without dying, we get to hear a theme song, uh, which is nice. Alright, well that's the end of episode 2 of our Awesome Knots Race to League 1 playthrough. Uh, if you like what you saw and you want to see more content like that, leave a like. Um, I also do some Minecraft walkthrough uh, videos on my channel, and I also have a couple of other games that I'm playing. So if you're interested in doing... Uh, <laughs> If you're interested in seeing any live commentary on pretty much any game you can think of, just let me know in the comments below. I'll consider picking the game up and making a walkthrough about it. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.